Hi, I'm John with Probo Medical, and we're going to go over setting up a GE Logic E9. One of the first things you need to do when you're setting up your GE machines is to make sure you are logged in as admin. The best way to do that is to go to your patient field. That's going to bring you to a screen that looks like this. Wheel up here to operator and make sure that this is set to admin. Now there should be no password. Just hit the OK and you're going to notice right off some changes like being able to delete patients. Right now I can delete. If we go back to user, that delete button goes away. So that's a quick easy way to see if the login that you currently have chosen has admin privileges. Now that we're on admin, we're going to go into utility and you're going to notice several headers down here on your touch screen. We're going to start with the system header, but there is imaging where you adjust your transducer presets, comments where you adjust the annotations, body patterns where you adjust the body markers that go along with your study, application, there are several things we do in the application tab that we'll go over later. User specific, we're not going to worry about. Connectivity, connectivity is where we set up all of our networking. Measure is where we set up our custom measurements. So under the system tab, it's going to bring you a screen that looks like this. On the very first page, some things that we want to do right here is where you input your facility name. This is a very important box. From the factory, typically it will be hide patient data on store. Most facilities do not want the data on the top of the image hidden. If you have that set to on store or always, the images sent to your packs will not have the patient's name on them. Right here is where we have units. So if you enter your demographics like patient weight and height with kilograms or centimeters, then you want metric. Or you can set to US if you're using pounds and inches. Date and time. This is where you set the date and time on your machine. Notice restart needed. Once you adjust the time on your machine, you'll need to restart your machine for that time change to take effect. But if I select this, you're going to see where we can change the date and time. We can change the time zone. I recommend changing the time zone first because that will have an effect on the time being displayed. Most of the rest of the stuff on this page we don't need to worry too much about. This button right here is handy. This is the panel park lock. If you ever free up the panel and it will not lock back into position, then you can select this and that will reset that lock. Under system display, once again, there's not a lot of things on this page that we need to worry about with basic setups. System imaging. This page does have a few things we want to look at. So one of them is right here. If every time you toggle your depth, the machine goes the wrong direction and you have to toggle it back a couple of clicks to fix what you just did, right here is where you can reverse the depth control knobs. Another button that I turn off quite often is this pushing depth rotary performs image reverse. Under measure, not a lot here that you'll have to worry about. I do typically change this to AUA. For most sites doing OB work, they prefer the AUA. Under the backup restore, this is where we can make a backup of the system or restore presets to the system from this a backup from this system or another system of similar software levels. Peripherals, this is for uh, if you have a DVD player, it's what type of format, 
these are things that most people don't mess with. User configurables. There are a handful of configurable keys, and this is where we can configure those. Most people leave these blank. And last, the about. This is where we have the information about this machine specifically. The software version, the hardware version. This is an important screen if you're calling a service engineer. They like it when you take a snapshot of this machine and send that to them so that they can have the correct software levels to come in and work on your machine.